Let's talk now about what the Celtics are doing right. They're a better team. They play better team basketball right now. Yeah. They're deeper. They're deeper. They're younger. Can I say they're hungrier? It sure looks it. Seems like it. Yeah. Brian Windhorst came on the program yesterday from the Worldwide Leader in Sports. He says, look, we're, 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 we're talking about this technical foul nonsense and whether Draymond Green should have been ejected or not. He goes, there's one thing we should be talking about. If the Celtics are going to turn the ball over like crazy, if they're going to turn it over like crazy, they're going to lose. And he gave us the under-over line of 15 turnovers. The Celtics had 12 last night. And there was a time. And, and so remember I asked him yesterday, Chris, about, and TJ and the rest of our crew, I asked Windhorst, I'm like, so what do you do if you're the Celtics? You you know this too, <laughs> right. right? The coaching staff knows this. Yeah. Brad Stevens knows this. Ime Udoka knows it. What do you do? How do you handle stopping all the turnovers? Well, there's one way to do it. Put up the tweet. This is from a guy who's been covering the Celtics since 1985, yeah, right. Steve Bullpet. He said Udoka, <laughs> after the team committed some bad turnovers, entered the huddle of a timeout and said simply, will you guys stop playing like a-holes? <laughs> Sometimes it's that man. simple, right? This yeah. guy is awesome. Sometimes, like, what's the secret sauce of coaching? <laughs> Just go hey, ahead. Will you guys like a-holes. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. So I guess it's not just the fans using potty mouth. <laughs> and it worked. What, one turnover in the fourth quarter last night? Uh, yeah, I think one turnover. There you the go. Quarter. After six in the first quarter. Will you guys stop playing like a-holes? By the way, maybe that's the first line that you, you can say when you're standing in front of a huge crowd at a duck boat parade. Easy, easy. Two games. Well, you're the one who started the show that way, Cacklin, <laughs> over there, like the Wicked Witch of uh, the East over he was, there. He was Cacklin, man. Okay. He was Cacklin. <laughs> and, and the Celtics are two games away. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. The Warriors have two more shots now to come up with a road win in a 25th consecutive playoff series. And if they don't, this thing's a wrap. This thing is a wrap. Doesn't matter if this does go back, you know, for a game six, if the Warriors lose game four Friday night. And that's the other thing, too. There's a quick turnaround here. It's just one game of rest, and and Steph was down on the court wincing in pain. Like, could the Celtics even be healthier? Just saying a lot with one of their best underneath the basket and in the paint limping up and down the court. Do you think Robert Parrish could run better right now than than Robert Williams? <laughs> Jeez. Right now? Maybe. Like, could Parrish be the better running Robert? I, 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 honestly, Grant Williams is in is in Draymond's head. The fans are are chanting nasty language, and Clay Thompson is talking about that. I mean, honestly, the Clay Thompson answer should be we've what. But, how many players, just, you even know the answer. You can look off to the side at the, whoever's running things PR-wise. Like, how, how many playoff series in a row have we won a game on the road? All of them. Right. We've been <laughs> in tough spots. <laughs> yeah. We've been in tough spots before. We've been in tough buildings before. Just a, a, you know, wasn't our night tonight. See you Friday. Not like good job, Boston, F-bombs in the crowd and all of that stuff. Just gives me so much pause. It's just Draymond's got to come up with one of his classic 8.10 rebound, 12 assist, three block games. It's just he's got to do it. In the same way I was calling for one of those Harden triple doubles in the playoffs, we got to get one of those from Draymond. When I say we, I mean the Warriors, because that's our fan base, yeah. because I said before the season they were going to win it all, and they're three wins away from doing it, and we're two Warriors losses away from having to deal with the likes of this guy and everybody else like this guy. I'm just saying, either outcome is just going to be bad for Del Tufo and I. We're going to have to either hear you. Yeah, yeah but I'm not going to hear cackle Buck. about it. Well, it's going to be my warriors, my warriors, and then he's just going to he's just going to like laugh and he won't say anything. But his silence is going to be more annoying, honestly, than hand, him actually 
talking about? Hand it, so. on a Bible. You don't even need to put a hand on the Bible. You don't need. You don't need to swear to a loved one on their heads. <laughs> you know which one is easier to deal with. You know which one's easier to deal with. You know deep down in every fiber of your being, T.J. Jefferson, which one's easier to deal with. You know it. And he's smiling like the Cheshire Cat over there because he knows it too. <laughs> do not unleash that beast. Golden State Warriors, do not unleash that beast. Earmuffs on if that's what you need. Let's get Poole going off the bench. And by the way, the Celtics defense is just smothering. Let's get, let's get him off the bench. Let's get Draymond going. Come on, Draymond. You want to show up on your pod for Colin Coward and the rest of those people over there like, uh, like your, uh, your warrior? You're winning. You want that, right? Let's go. Come on now. Turn up the volume on that. Rich, you said don't, go. don't unleash the beast. The don't. problem is don't. after yesterday, I don't know what – to do to stop that beast, because I <laughs> no, I just gave, I just gave it to you. Better yeah. production off the bench, better production from Draymond. That let's get let's great. get things going. But Draymond, I don't know if you're going to get like you wanted a thirty point, forty point triple double out of Harden. I knew that was impossible. He almost I, came. Up, oh yeah, he came up with one. He just didn't come up with more than one. But Draymond, I don't know, man. He he he's out there doing a lot of talking, and he ain't backing nothing up. So.